I believe many Team Blue Motherboard owners have already heard of the news. Especially if you are a gamer who has the Intel 13th or 14th K SKU CPUs, that some systems might experience instability while playing games. According to Intel observation, this is likely to be related to out of spec operating condition. Hence, many motherboard manufacturers have released BIOS with Intel baseline profile to respond to this behavior. I will leave the links of some articles in the description, so you can check them out later to get the full story. Now, let's get right into the main topic of this video. How to set corresponding settings to improve stability of your system. Speaking of Intel baseline profile, using ASUS Z790 Dark Hero with Lady BIOS as example. If you go to Extreme Tweaker, Internal CPU Power Management, you can see that ASUS out-of-box BIOS settings has pushed CPU current limit and power limit way beyond Intel's recommended spec. After enabling Intel baseline profile, you should observe the BIOS has changed a lot of things, including power and current limit, SVID, CEP option, etc. Until now, MSI hasn't released new BIOS to enable Intel baseline profile, but instead, they post a guide showing the workaround. First, go to overclocking and look for CPU cooler tuning. By default, BIOS applies water cooler automatically for my CPU, which seems to be smart and convenient. But if you look carefully, you will see multiple options are not following Intel's default, just like what we have seen on Dark Hero. So we should change it to the box cooler setting, which reduce power and current limit to Intel recommended value. Next, look for CPU light load control under overclocking and fan CPU configuration. Select Intel default. However, you might notice that CPU voltage increased a little after the changes. While it seems using Intel default higher vCore is one way to stabilize your system, it also results in higher CPU operating temperature. If you still want to keep CPU voltage as low as possible, you can put CPU light load back to normal and try different light load mode. The smaller the number leads to lower CPU core voltage. Keep testing until you find the most stable light load mode for your system. For advanced users, you can input CPU AC load line directly. After tuning the CPU to follow or partially follow Intel spec, it is expected that performance will drop slightly since motherboard does not offer that extra juice to push the performance. But hey, you get to play your game smoothly with your i7 CPU like an i5. I hope you find this video helpful and make your life easier with Intel. See you in the next video. Bye!